housing problem must have been simple in the old days. Any handy cave, like Fingal's in the Hebrides or Cheddar in the Mendips, was good enough. And for years, a cave sheltered a family in Worcestershire. It was hewn out of Holy Austin Rock at Kinver and was reputed to be 2,000 years old. Early man, and that doesn't mean the milkman, probably had his first real house in a boulder like this. But stones and rocks couldn't be used on marshland, so the lake house was born. It was built on piles driven into the stream bed, and it's still a common sight in the Orient. The African beehive hut, made of plaited reeds, looks something like one of the modern hats. In Bali, Dutch East Indies, the native houses are made of thatched reeds and grasses. They even like to feather their nest with a little down. Dobo houses provide moments of reflection for the spinsters of New Guinea, a toppling idea. A Laplander's house of mud with a thatched roof closely resembles a mushroom. A few skins and a pole or two make quite a comfortable home for the Red Indian. The Chinese builder isn't so easily satisfied. He must have tiers of pagodas. The ancient Assyrian house might have been the forerunner of the modern skyscraper. And talking of skyscrapers, here's one example that isn't. No, it's not in America, but in Italy. One of the many buildings in Florence with a skyscraper complex. And here's the smallest house in London. It's sandwiched between two mansions in Bayswater Road and stands 18 feet high and five feet wide. It has a fine front door and contains two rooms. Be it ever so humbug, there's no place like this fake house at Lancaster Gate. It's a mere blank wall put up to hide a gap in the terrace made by the underground railway at the back. With some people, the view is everything, and that's the case with the top of the cliff dwelling which, like good King Wenceslas, looks out. There's no question of looking down on their neighbours, though, because there aren't any. The stories of London being paved with gold may be fantastic, but London has stories of great wealth all the same. There are the Park Lane skyscrapers, but of course the spiritual home of the skyscraper is America, where they say things are looking up. The Chrysler building is 1,030 feet high, and if you've a mind to walk up, you can easily do so in a couple of days. With its tower coquetting with the clouds 1,240 feet up, the Empire State Building is the tallest of them all. The high cost of space on the Earth is sending its people sky highwards, and they say it's a terrible feeling to be short in such a tall building. What does the future hold? Will our homes be round or square, pointed or flat? In all probability, yes. <laughs>